things that they may not have been in the, in the past? Mm. Uh, well, we talk a lot about psychographics when we're talking about brands and how surprising it is. So uh, brand often will say to us, oh, I'm a champagne luxury brand. We don't really associate with rock and roll. And I say, look at me, I don't have any tattoos and I shop on Rodeo Drive and if you have a rock star in your ad, you might get me as a customer. So you should know your psychographics, not your demographics. And so we talk a lot about that and it's really surprising um, what you find out there in terms of the interests and opinions and the things that will cause in your consumer to actually be interested and go and make a purchasing decision. And so it's important to recognize that and to think, uh, well, in the case of wrestlers, maybe that is your audience for your brand. How do you know that the mom or dad you're targeting doesn't have a kid that loves wrestling and it's important to get the message to them as part of their entertainment? Whether it is wrestling or music or sports or what have you, um, those are the kind of conduits that are really going to get your message all the way down in a way that is meaningful to the end user on whatever platform it is. So um, it's surprising, and that, that's what I immediately comes to mind when I think of the wrestling question. I mean, there was a professional, very famous UFC mm -hmm. fighter backstage this weekend, and we took a whole bunch of pictures of, of him with our brands, because <coughs> why not? So, and he was at a rock show, so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, with WWE on USA Network, Monday right. Night Raw, uh, it actually is one of the longest running reality shows on television. Right. Um, it is pulling the number one rating of the night uh, for all cable television. Uh, it has a huge audience reaching six to nine million people every single Monday night, depending on uh, you know whether they're DVR or not. Um, but they really are uh, converting their brand into more of an entertainment property and less so much about a actual sport. Uh, you know, they're bringing in and celebrating the characters, and that's really how. Uh, WWE and USA uh, made a great match was that there's so many fantastic deep characters across all the different uh, you know Raw and SmackDown, uh, and you are talking to uh, a very very rabid fan base um, with the kind of anywhere from the 10 year olds all the way up until the 30, 40, 50 year old men and women. Um, you know, growing up in the 